Hello, Leo viewers. Going to see what the cards want to say. A couple weeks ago, I was getting that there was some kind of miscommunication and silence between you and someone else. And you assume that they know how much you love them, but they actually might not know. I think that there's a lot that's unspoken between you two. So let's see what the current situation is. I've thought about going on a vacation with you. I lied to you. I'm afraid you'll break my heart. It's hard for me to fully trust you. So the lie might have been them lying about their feelings and kind of hiding their feelings because they don't know what you feel or they don't. I feel like there's some insecurity with this person. So you feel like it's obvious, but it might not be obvious to them. I'm detached from the karmic. I'm planning out a way to finally end things with them. This could also just be a karmic cycle that's coming to an end for them. I've been spying on you. I notice... I observe and I notice every little thing about you. I read your social media posts. I'm thinking about what you said. There might have been a conversation that you guys had that they're, you know, replaying right now. Leo. I'm aware that we're telepathically communicating. We have a deep spiritual bond. I have commitment issues. I've gotten used to being alone. I looked for love in all the wrong places. I'm returning. I want to be with you now. This might be a third party situation for some of you. This could be someone that, you know, it's the same energy group that I of Leo's that I channel consistently, but it's not necessarily the same ex that I'm going to channel for you. You know what I mean? So if this is your story and I've been channeling you for a few months, it's still possible that I'll get a different person in some of the readings. I mean, I'll, it, it's your story, but it might be a different ex than the ex that I channeled for you last week or a couple weeks ago. So it feels like, I mean, it feels like a karmic situation. It feels like there was something that distracted them from you. It feels like it could have been a third party, but third party isn't always a person. It could have just been a job. It could have been some kind of situation that took their energy away. Yeah, because my life is busy and chaotic. I feel numb. I'm running on autopilot. So it's like something took this person's energy away. You come off and as uninterested and detached. So they're not really sure if they still have a chance with you or not. Um, I feel I feel the silence between you two, almost like a sil almost like a throat chakra block. It feels like like you have your throat chakra blocked, or they do. Someone's just. There's just a lot of uncertainty in this um, connection. What's going on with this connection right now? Nine of Swords. So someone's really in their head about you. This could be, you guys could both be fire signs. Nine of Swords, is, it's anxiety, it's nightmares, it's restlessness, it's, um, you know, feeling trapped, pain, you know, you see this, see this energy here, it's like, it's kind of what this person is, is feeling right now. Two of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. The energy, let me ask the pendulum. Is someone, is the, is your person making a choice right now? I think your person is making a choice. Which, it may, maybe it is the person I channeled. I mean, maybe this is the same ex for you that I channeled a couple weeks ago. Because I got miscommunication and silence. Like, like, you think they know how much that you love, how much you love them, but they actually, they don't know. There's some kind of, like, awkwardness and miscommunication, or it's been a while since you guys have talked. You guys kind of don't know what to say to each other. But it feels like they are really in their head about this, and I feel like someone's making a choice, because Two of Pentacles, it's like, you know, like, look at her. She's, like, trying to find a balance. She's trying to, she's been juggling between two different energies, and it, or he, he or she, but it's like with Knight of Wands, this is like fiery energy. This is um, like impulsiveness going forward. 
almost in this particular spread I almost see it similar to the chariot where it's like this person I kind of see it with this context as this person wants to come forward they want to make a move they want to um, communicate like they're just making a decision yeah that's what that's what I'm getting strongly for this spread is someone's making a decision here the star yeah they're planting a seed so they might be wanting to come back around but they might just be um sorry let me straighten this out for you guys so you can see it better So they might be coming back around, but they might kind of almost see this as someone like testing the waters first because I feel like th there's just some, like an awkwardness. There's just an awkwardness between this situation. So I feel like this is probably someone that blew a chance with you. Like maybe they were taken or they chose someone else over you. Um, or they, they maybe had a lot on their plate and they kind of were distracted and you were maybe trying to get their attention and they didn't notice it until later and now maybe someone told them that you have feelings for them maybe they actually didn't know that you have feelings and maybe someone maybe there's some kind of clarity now where they have a better understanding because I feel like a door was just opened but I don't know if this took place um physically like if someone said hey like this this like that person had a crush on you did you really not know that or Maybe something took place like astrally, like in the higher planes, like telepathically. Um, maybe when you watch my last reading, maybe there was some kind of spirit communication between the two of you where you kind of gave them an opening. Because I'm getting, I'm still getting the same awkwardness and miscommunication and kind of like almost like a nervous type energy, but I feel them wanting to talk to you. I think it's just maybe a lot of time has gone by. Like maybe you guys haven't talked for a long time. Or like maybe they messed up in the past or they um, were kind of like oblivious to your feelings and now they're having some clarity and so they're wanting to, to plant these seeds and come forward. But I feel like they're going to test the waters first. I don't feel like they're just going to come forward right away. I feel like, yeah, I feel like they're going to test the waters. Six of Wands, public eye. So either you're in the, you might be in the public eye and they might be watching you. Like you might be on like a social media influencer or you might have like a YouTube channel um, or you're, maybe you just have a profession where people kind of look up to you and admire you and love you. Um, I feel like, I feel like this card is saying two different things. For one thing, I feel like you might be in the public eye and they might be noticing you and watching you. I also feel like this is them trying to be in the public eye. Like they might be, they might have a job that in the near future where they're going to be in the public eye more. I also feel like this is them trying to get your attention. Like they're trying to be in the public eye in the sense that they're, they're trying to get you to, to notice them. Maybe, maybe they're trying to bump into you out in public, or maybe they're trying to figure out like a, like somehow they could bump into you in public so you guys could talk. Maybe it's like a, um, I mean, for some of you, this is an ex, but I feel like for some of you, this is also someone that you didn't actually date, but someone that just like, like a missed opportunity, like you guys kind of were into each other and they might've flirted, but I don't think they realized how much you were into them. I think it was just kind of like casual flirting. And then maybe someone told them that you were into them or maybe like later down the road, um, they just, maybe, maybe they were busy and maybe they're not as busy now and they're kind of like opening themselves like they have more time to think about love now so maybe they're reflecting on the past and they're thinking like oh I wonder if that person was like actually into me like that you know maybe I maybe there's something there maybe I should have given that a chance you know so that could also be the awkwardness where it's like maybe they don't have your contact info to message you or maybe they do but they don't um like maybe you guys just didn't talk a lot so it's like kind of awkward for them to like message you you know what I mean it's just, it's just a sense of awkwardness. I feel like they're wanting to, it's like a sense of like going like impulsive, like in the sense that they're wanting, they want to go fast. They want this to start, but it's like a slow start. You know what I mean? Like they're just kind of like, they're moving fast. Like they're making a decision to stop juggling these two things and to make a choice and to come forward. But with the star here, it kind of seems like they're planting a seed. They're... <coughs> They're planting the seeds. They're not wanting to. 
they're not they're not wanting to overdo it or overwhelm you because I feel I just feel like maybe a long time has gone by or maybe it's it's like there's like this this it feels like a distance between you two and I don't know if this was an ex that you broke up with or maybe there was just never maybe you really liked this person but they had a lot going on at the time and now they're wanting to revisit this there's just some kind of energy where there's a a distance between you two but they don't really want there to be a distance it's almost like it's not like they're closed off or anything it doesn't feel like they're closed off it just feels like there's a distance bet because maybe they um like moved away or maybe something happened where it's like you guys just haven't talked for a while you know so it's awkward just popping up out of the blue so they're kind of trying to figure out how to go about this um, especially if they did choose someone else over you or if there was some kind of energy where it's like, yeah. Um, so I feel like they're trying to figure out if there's like a way that they could physically just like bump into you. Like, could they, could they see you? Cause they want to get to talking, but they don't, again, they don't want to, there's like, I don't know what it is. There's just this, this energy is, is like, they want to kind of casually flirt, kind of say like, Hey, like, let's, do you want to get some coffee? Like right next door or like down the block, you know, just something really casual. Like they're not wanting to overdo it, but I feel like that's for your sake. Like they're trying to hold back their emotions a little bit and take it slow. Um, because I feel like, I just feel like they had some kind of epiphany where they realized that there's something here or they realized that you have strong feelings for them. Like they didn't know before, but I think something just happened recently. And I don't know if it was physically or telepathically, or I don't know what plane it took place in, but there's something that gave them some kind of epiphany where there's like, oh, wait, maybe there is like, like, oh, I didn't notice this before. Like, I didn't, it's like taking the blindfold off. Like, I didn't notice this person before. Maybe they had like a, a karmic or someone who was, who was holding them down and doing black magic on them. And maybe they freed themselves from that energy. So now they can see clearly and they can see the love that's around them finally. And if this is your story and you want a, a private in-depth reading, just send me an email. My email is below it is dragon enchantress at aol.com but if you just if you just um scroll below in the description box my email is right up there at the top so you can just copy and paste it so yeah they're coming out of stagnant energy four of cups reversed four of cups reversed four of cups upright is like it's boredom it's stagnation it's just not moving so I feel like there's a situation that was stressing them out and draining them and hurting them and upsetting them and this could be work it could just be that they were working all the time or they were busy they were trying to graduate school they just had a lot on their plate back when you guys used to whether this was someone you dated or someone you flirted with back when you guys used to, you know, see each other or, or bump into each other, they had a lot going on. And I feel like they have less going on now. Like they have more free time. They're, they're more open hearted now. So this could be a karmic, I feel like it's a third party, but I just don't know. I mean, third party isn't always a person. So this could be a person that was draining them and taking all their time and attention. Like, a baby mama or baby daddy or something this could be a, a work situation this could be school this could be toxic people around them there's just something that was um could have been like health with like a family member or something that they had to take care of like could be like your person is a caretaker and they had to um care for someone it could be some energy like that um they might have like a high stress job, like being a cop or being a firefighter or something of that sort. It's just something, or maybe they did, but I feel like if this was work, then it's like things have calmed down at work or maybe they found a new job or like they left the toxic, like the toxic family situation or the toxic friendships, the toxic, um, you know, baby mama, daddy drama, um, the, you know, toxic karmics, whatever it might be. It feels like a karmic cycle that they wrapped up like they've they've set themselves free whatever this whatever the energy was they had a lot on their plate when you guys used to know each other but now it seems like they're they've set themselves free and i think that that freedom like they have more free time on their hands so i think they're they have this newfound appreciation for life and they have the time and energy to focus on love now whereas before they didn't it's like they had something that was weighing them down but now it's like they're being their self themselves more and so they're able to focus on love a little bit more and it's like when you think about love like they they kind of you know they think about all the potential and it's like you're part of that potential they're like oh wow like maybe there was something there someone might have been doing black magic on them and like 
keeping them blindfolded so like they couldn't see that there was something real in front of them with you like they couldn't like they they were too insecure to to realize that you love that you loved them or cared about them or they were always like the karmic always like distracted them or just kind of blocked you out if this is a third party i mean if this is a person that third party energy there's a third party energy but again it could be a job could be a person could be third party could mean a lot of things but i get the sense that um yeah, like that energy, whatever it was that like distracted them. And it could be black magic. It could be like the karmic distracted them and kind of confused them. And now that that energy, it's like maybe someone helped them with spell work and like cleared that energy. Maybe they're, maybe something, maybe like they cut and cleared someone, something, some kind of energy where it's like they're, they're freeing themselves is what it feels like. Um, like they, they have a sense of freedom now is what it feels like. So they're, um, like someone might have set them free or they set themselves free, I'm not sure. But they have clarity now, so it's almost like, almost like they were blindfolded the whole time they were around you and now someone's taken that blindfold off and they're like, oh wow, like, I hope I didn't miss that chance, you know? Okay, to wrap up this reading, anything else? And again, if this is your story, just send me an email. Um, my email address is right below in the description box. If you'd like a, a private in-depth reading, I can go more into, you know, the karmic, uh, who this person is, what the future might look like for you guys, how they feel about you, what they're thinking about you right now, what potential next move they might make towards you, whatever you want to know, really. Um, yeah, so just shoot me an email. Nine of Pentacles. So reward after hard work. So yeah, there's there's some kind of success that's coming in for them now that they're, they're setting themselves free. It's like they had to go, they might have gone through a dark night of the, sh the soul or at least like a shadow phase and they're, they're coming into the light now and, and things are balancing. And I feel like you might have helped them through that. I feel like you're in either high priestess or high priest energy where you're very intuitive and empathetic. And you kind of shown a light for them. Like even if you weren't physically talking, I feel just your energy, just how you might have been more kind to them than they're used to. Like maybe most people aren't that kind and that sweet and that loving, but you were really um, compassionate with them. You were really, you know, you, you were open. You had this light about you. And I think it really helped them get out of this dark period of their life. Yeah, they're healing from the three of swords. And I feel like you, I feel like you helped them with that for sure. Yeah, you help them stop running and face themselves, and now they have this new, newfound light, um, appreciation for life. I feel like for a lot of you, magic might be involved in this situation. Either you've done magic, or the karmic did magic, or maybe you and the karmic did magic against each other. For, this is for those that the third party is a, is a um, if the if the third party is a person, then I feel like there might have been some magic involved. Um, but your light has helped this person out of this energy. I definitely feel that that your lights really help this person out of this energy. Like you've telepathically, I feel like you've been sending them healing energy, even if you don't even know it, but you might've been consciously doing it. You might've been consciously doing spells to help them. I could see that too. Yeah. You're the queen of cups or you're the king of cups, king or queen of cups. You're, you're mature. You're empathetic. You're, you've got a lot of life experience. You're loyal. You're, you're more stable. You're emotional. You're, you know, you're loving. And it's like, you kind of gave this person a a boost of energy to make them want to fight and make them want to better their lives again. And now they're, they're moving forward because of you. Yeah. They're letting go of something that was holding them back. They were fighting for some kind of situation that was stressing them out, but now they're letting it go because they want peace. They want stability. They want happiness more than they want to make something work. That's just not working in their life anymore. And again, this could be a person, could be a job. There's just something that was busy and stressing them out. And it's like, now they kind of have this newfound appreciation and passion for life. So anyway, if this is your reading, um, uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe. And any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. My PayPal and my Cash App link is below. And my email is below too. Thank you guys for watching.